foundation and key stage one here at home, week number three. To start off with, all you'll need is a jumper, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, and a broad pair of socks, or a bean bag or a tennis ball. Start off with you just going to throw up the bean bag into the air, trying to see how many times that it can land on the t-shirt. Once you've done it 10 times, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging for you. So throw that bean bag up in the air, and we're just trying to see it land in front of us on that t-shirt. Next challenge, all you're going to do is you're going to throw it up again, try to get it to land on the t-shirt, but this time you're going to do it with your weaker hand. So throw that beanbag up in front of your face, try and get it to land on the t-shirt, keep it going. Once you've done it 10 times, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging for you. Okay. Challenge number three, this time as I throw the beanbag up, it can only go level with my head. I'm going to flat my hand and see how many times I can flat my hand before it lands on the t shirt. So get ready. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So it can't go any higher. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See how many times I can do it. Make sure that your beanbag is on the t-shirt. Swatch your weak hand if you want to. See how many times. And once you've done it 10 times with your strong hand, 10 times with your weak hand, we're going to move on to the next activity. Okay, moving on from the t-shirt, this time we're going to use a different target area. We can use a basket, a bucket, or a bin. You still need your other pair of socks, still need your beanbag, and we're just going to throw the beanbag up this time, and hopefully it lands into our target area. So we're throwing up, just like we did with the t-shirt, keeping our eye on it. Once you've done 10, what we're going to do, so once you've scored 10, we are going to move on to another challenge. Okay, this time you're going to use your other hand to throw up and hopefully it still lands in the target. It's right up in front of your face, picking the beanbag up if it doesn't manage to. Bending those knees. Once you've done it 10 times, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. Off you go. Okay, I've gone from being back to tennis ball. I'm going to try the same thing again. So throw the ball up. Try to get it into the bucket 10 times. Once I manage to do that, all I'm going to do change to my weaker hand. So I'm going to throw up. Next activity, all we're looking for this time is can you stop the beanbag from falling into the bucket? So you're going to throw up with one hand, and you're going to catch with two. So eyes on, throw up with one, and catch with two. So we're trying to stop the beanbag falling into your bucket this time. Once you've had 10 goes at that, swap hands. If you do drop the beanbag, just start again. Bend those knees for a little bit more balance. Keep your feet shoulder width apart, either side of the bucket, to make it a little bit more challenging. Clap your hands, see how many you can do before you drop the beanbag. Keep your eyes on, and with your weaker hand, we'll throw with one, catch with two, throw with one, clap our hands, catch with two, to make it even more challenging. Two claps, 
after we've dropped our hands, our hands fall open. See how many you can do for me. Okay, I've just switched out the beanbag for a tennis ball. So if you've got a tennis ball, you can do this activity. Roll pair of socks works just as well. So we're going to throw the ball up, clap our hands, keep our eye on the ball, see how many we can do without dropping that ball. So work on a small ball. Remember, weak one, use the larger ball. Throwing up with one hand though, catching with two because the ball is smaller. Okay, finding that a little bit too easy. Change hands, so throw up your weak hand, bend your knees, feet shoulder apart, either side of the target area. Find that too easy, two claps. Two claps. Thank you for watching everybody. If you found any of those skills a little bit too difficult, go back, practice them again. Don't give up, okay? I'm sure you'll succeed with just that little bit more practice time, okay? Keep putting the effort in. Thank you very much, everybody. See you later.